no, I actually like vegan ice cream. Well, just f***ing eat that then. Well, till now, I'd had nothing to do with that vegan teacher. However, she just called out this one particular YouTuber. Her response video has had over 8 million views and rising. So I thought this is worth speaking to. Let's take a look. Man, whoa, 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 whoa. 2021, I am now getting attacked for the food that I eat. No one's getting attacked here. Someone has said words. The only attack in this bin that's been done is whereby you've paid someone to stab animals in the neck. A little bit of perspective, perhaps. And it's not the food that you eat that's the problem. I mean, you could source meat from labs. You could, you know, I see lo loads of like squashed hedgehogs and squirrels on the road when I'm cycling along. You know, you could eat their dead bodies. Wouldn't really be an issue. But no, the fact is, as I said, you're paying for people to kill. That's where the problem lies. Let me start this off with personally, I believe that you can eat whatever you want. Oh, that's very cool. Uh, what if I think uh, it's okay to eat airhead gamer chicks? Mm. Not like that. Who have no regard for life. So they shouldn't mind if they're killed and eaten either. Oh, you want to change your mind now? Oh, I see. I don't tell you how to live your life, so please do not tell me how to live my life. Oh, live and let live, hey? Unless you like the taste of someone's dead body, and then it's kill. But oh no, don't say any words to me about what I'm doing, however cruel it is. Are you the same way with serial killers? You know, let them get on with it. I would like Alia to do. Bro, what the hell did you just call me? Alia. I googled her real name. First of all, you didn't even say it right. Second of all, nobody, including my family, my friends, has ever not even my own parents. So when somebody calls me by my legal name. You're focusing on the wrong thing here, love. Name, I take it as a form of disrespect. That by itself makes me want to punch a cow. Or even worse, eat a burger. What a delightful young lady. Does she know what's actually going on? Do you know that there are twice as many chickens on earth as there are humans? Where are they all, Alia? Do you know where they are? They are being made into chicken nuggies. You know, if we didn't eat them, chickens would be taking over the world. They'd be busted through my door. Think of your kids, wife, land. I don't think so. Also, they are delicious. I get it. I used to be an ignorant, arrogant who didn't give a f about anyone else either. <laughs> so pleased I grew up. And the only reason so many animals are bred is because of people like you paying money to make it happen. <laughs> Hello? I have been vegan since June 2016. Wow, congratulations. You can be vegan. That's great. Notice how I said you? You know what my favorite food is? Fried chicken. You barking up the wrong tree. I need my protein. Yep, animals are made out of plants, you dip. Do you even know what you're doing? Do you know what you're contributing to? If you don't know, it's your responsibility to watch. Okay, I know, but I just don't care. When I was young, I was taught animals were put on this planet to be- Go in a slaughterhouse. You don't care because you've not looked at it. Go in a slaughterhouse, see what you're finding. Watch the animals being queued up, shaking, shitting and pissing themselves, being shot in the head, stabbed in the throat, blood spilling out all over the floor. Maybe you're right. Maybe you happen to be born a psychopath. I don't know. But most right-minded people would be pretty f***ing ashamed with themselves. And also throwing up everywhere. But of course, it's on natural diet. Natural. And obviously you'd be like, but you wouldn't eat a dog. No, no, uh-uh. There are certain animals you will eat and some you won't. If you were born in a few select Asian countries, you might think dog is delicious. Can you not see what hypocritical bullshit you're spouting? Let's make sure that you all understand why we must be vegan. And not just vegan, but vegan animal rights activists. Okay, so it's not good enough being vegan. Drop everything you're doing, all your hopes, dreams, your career, and become a vegan animal rights activist. If you're a halfway decent person, and you find out, like you see the suffering that you caused, you would actually want to do something about it. I'm doing something about it. I ate more animals than anyone do I feel horrible for my past? Obviously, I'm not saying that we should all be advocating for animals 24-7, but I do believe that we have a duty to become more moral than the society which we were brought up in. After all, were that not the case, we'd still be back in caveman days, smashing each other over the head and raping each other. Would you like that? No, not so much. Why is it so difficult for people to get the concept of not causing suffering unnecessarily? There's loads of amazing tasting options that taste just as good, if not better. What the f is wrong with people today? Wake the f up. Today I'm hungry and we're gonna be trying some food. Okay, she's hungry, she's gonna try some food. Oh, please let it be some vegan food. Please let it be something healthy, right? Do you guys have your sheets ready? Okay, SS Sniper Wolf, good and bad. We're gonna write our list. She made a whole sheet 
It's Sniper Wolf, good and bad. It's gonna give me PTSD, take me back to elementary school, grading me on every little thing I do. You ain't my mama, you can't judge me. I'm grown. Well, act it then. Chick-fil-A? Why is she mentioning that horrible place? They sell dead animals in there. People pay people to murder chickens who never did a single thing wrong to us. Bro, calm down, it's just a restaurant. I'm just reacting to a hack I saw on TikTok. You get an X for even saying the name Chick-fil-A. Oh no, this is not starting off good. Already I'm gonna put an X for bad because you're talking about a restaurant that's not vegan. Um, last time I checked, they got a kale salad, delicious and vegan. And if that's not good enough for you, you can mosey on down across the street. Find yourself a nice lawn. Instead of just taking the piss, why don't you act right and eat the delicious kale salad that you said was delicious? Just a thought. I'm munching on the grass. It's not good. You know what else is not good? Telling people what they should and should not eat. And people who think they're better than everybody because of their dietary choices. I don't do this to feel better than others. I do this so animals don't get a knife in the neck. Why do you people find it such a hard concept to fathom? I really don't know. So any soda, you can even do it with a lemonade and they'll put soft serve in it and mix it up. She's also talking about an, a type of ice cream that you put in there. Now that is certainly not vegan at that restaurant. So that's another X right there. Wah. You must buy vegan ice cream when you're out. You must request it. You must ask all of these chains, do you have vegan products? What do you have and why don't you have it? How dare you show millions of people this? Dairy ice cream. You know, since the beginning of time, people have been drinking dairy. Um, no, it's only a few thousand years old. The beginning of the time was like billions of years ago, so. Eh, wrong. My heart goes out to all y'all lactose intolerance folk. Y'all are. Which is the vast majority of the world. You're not a baby cow, man. Ready on her good side. Little does she know, I actually like vegan ice cream. But just eat that then why do you arbitrarily sometimes pay for people to take babies away from their mothers babies are shot in the head so we can steal their milk why but have you ever had ice cream that was so good so creamy and delicious as that it clogged your arteries up and killed you yes the number one cause of death in humans ain't karma a bitch I bought a whole bag of Takis just for this hack. Now she's talking about something else that has cheese and she's not saying vegan cheese, so she gets another X now. Excuse me, mind your business. I'm just trying to do a hack and enjoy my cheese. Cows are just trying to live. What's she gonna say next? Did you see the way she aggressively opened that bag? Talkie cruelty, sniper wolf is a bad person. Ridicule is your way of trying to feel okay about being a horrible, murderous, I don't know what. You probably hold the twin incompatible positions that on the one hand, you would never harm an animal unnecessarily, but on the other hand, you harm an animal unnecessarily like three, four, five times a day. You know, when you could just get the vegan option, which you said, you know, it's delicious. Tortilla shells are usually vegan. Make sure there's no eggs or milk in them and they're usually fine. So let's give her a check mark for that. <gasps> Girl, hear that? She gave me a check mark. I did a good in this world. You didn't, you just didn't do one more thing for one time with no meat. she just said she doesn't usually eat things with no meat oh that's an x for sure what oh i'm sorry 2021 i'm gonna get canceled for saying i eat meat and if i want to be a horrible person why don't you say what it is you know pieces of corpse flesh dead bodies why do you need to use a euphemism makes it easier to sleep at night does it i'm gonna lock the doors i'm gonna close the blinds i'm gonna do it in the safety of my own house in years to come, it'll be like that because the vast majority of the world will be vegan and eating meat will be really looked down upon as the heinous, disgusting, unnecessarily, stupidly cruel thing that it is. Sadly, for me and that vegan teacher, we're just a little bit ahead of our time, so we have to put up with bullshit from people like you. Even just mentioning McDonald's gets you another ex. She kind of pissing me off. She rude. She got an attitude. You should hear what farmed animals think about you. Not a leather driving steering wheel? I hope not. You know, if you actually did your research, you would know a lot of car brands don't use real leather these days because synthetic leather is more durable. I cannot tell you if this specific model is real leather. And even well, perhaps you, we, you should be able to. Perhaps you should think about these things and not have murdered animals all over your dashboards and underneath your bum and like that. Even if it was, who cares? The animals that were murdered, they cared. Some of my very perfect grapes. Grapes! 
grapes. Grape Finally, we're talking about a healthy whole food. So that's the kind of foods you should be eating. Grapes and all kinds of nuts. Peanut butter. Get, get some organic peanut butter that's good for you without any extra salt or sugar in it. I don't think this idiot realizes most people can't afford to buy a $7 jar of organic peanut butter. Haven't you got millions of followers? What, what does it matter how much things cost to you? And anyway, whole plant foods like bags of lentils, sacks of rice, bags of whole grain pasta, cheapest foods in the world, so what the hell are you on about? Remember when you're in the grocery store to only put veggies, fruits, nuts and seeds in your shopping cart. Veggies, fruits, nuts and seeds. That's all you're allowed to buy. I'm not a rabbit. I am never going to get full off of nuts and seeds and fruits and veggies. Well, I seem to manage. Okay, I would add, add in there like legumes and whole grains, but um... Yeah, you've got a bit of a skewed view on the world. I've tried it. I need meat and potatoes. You really don't need the meat. Potatoes are vegan though, so that's fine. Begins on your plate, so open up your heart. No, peace begins with no war. Not on your plate, what the hell? How many wars started because of what they- No, I, I always thought this. I heard Earthling Ed once say, uh, while there are slaughterhouses, there will always be, be battlefields. I think he was quoting Tolstoy. And I thought like, uh, that sounds really good. I hope that's the thing, I wish it was, but I don't know if that's true. Well, I used to be a doorman. I was in a very violent world and I used to like, I'll be honest, and I feel really ashamed to say I used to enjoy the violence. Just like I used to enjoy the taste of like dead bodies in a sandwich before I knew better. However, becoming vegan, I had an epiphany one day. I thought if I don't want to harm a chicken I've never met, if some guy is rude or aggressive to me, perhaps I don't necessarily need to smash his face in. Perhaps I can forgive him, you know, let it go. Like, Recognise that he's suffering, his suffering's spilling over. Forgive that. And then maybe, like, if I don't give it to him, he doesn't then give it to the next person. I honestly think that veganism can heal the world. I think it's the answer. I think it's the only thing that can save humanity from its own stupidity. Sadly, some people are a bit slow in getting it. I love eggs. Eggs come from a terrible cycle of violence. Baby boy chicks are put on this huge assembly line. Those cutest little things. Aw, they're so cute. Look at that. A yolk, some white rice. Aw, it's so cute. How could you eat this? You're like a monster if you eat this. You've missed the point. The chicks on the conveyor belt, which she was talking about, are going to their death. They're going to be ground alive in a kind of big mincer called a macerator. Imagine that. Not one day old, looking for your mum, seeking love and finding nothing but fear and an agonizing death. Cute little chicks. What the hell is wrong with people? I don't know if these people are just really thick and just don't get perspectives, or maybe they're a psychopath and you know, <laughs> there are a few about, so. But if you weren't born a psychopath or a sociopath, <sighs> come on. What did we learn here today? Absolutely nothing. Watching this video has gotten me quite hungry. I think I'll order a burger. If you're not a psychopath, perhaps just order the vegan one. This is really quick and easy. Now click this.